Obviously, they cover the knees, though, right? Right? They cover the knees a little bit? Because one time, I remember in high school, my teacher looked at me and said, Brad, are you riding a chicken or are those your legs? <laughs> oh, hey now. On this week's Abs Made in the Kitchen, it's all about the post-workout protocol. Strength and conditioning coach Ray Wetterlund is here to help us finish our workout right. We want to reiterate why we are doing this segment. Diet and nutrition is 90% of the struggle to reveal abs or whatever you have going on underneath your shirt and your clothes. Good morning to you, Ray. Hey, Brad. I'm excited about this because we're yeah. going to get pumped up this morning. Absolutely. Um, we want to talk about the first a couple workouts that maybe we can get into here this morning. Do you have some ideas of where we can go with this? And then we'll take you into the kitchen and talk yeah, nutrition, yeah. right? Well, basically, we're just finishing up with a workout. So okay. what I want you to do after me is we're just going to do a quick little mirror drill. So we get the heart rate okay. up really quick, and then we're going to refuel in the kitchen. This is after ready? the workout? So we've no, already worked No, this is out. the very end of the workout. This is the very right, end of the workout. Right now. Okay. All right. Because right I'm, I'm breathing heavy already. Okay. You <laughs> And All we right. haven't even worked out. So Here go we go. So you're just going to try try to stay with me. Oh, great. Okay. All right. Come on, Brad. <laughs> Let's go, baby. <laughs> Can you get them? Okay. All right. So this so is. So basically here, come on. You got to okay. stay with me. Get, right. them up, get, right. them up, get them up. 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 Boom. Come on. Okay. So my objective is to stay step two steps ahead of okay. you at all times. All right. So you're with me the whole time. So heart rate's cranking. We just get finished up with our workout. Okay. So now we've got to refuel. Did we go through the weights and everything? And then this is kind of the... This is the metabolic conditioning. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, I love absolutely. It. I love it. Okay. So let's go ahead. Let's head on into the kitchen. Let's go to the kitchen. And then we're going to talk about nutrition and yeah. post-workout and what you could do to, to make this workout last a little bit longer when it comes to nutrition. So we love that. Here comes the apron. I'll be taking my shirt off and putting the apron on. No, wait, Ray, that's Ray's job. Um, <laughs> you've got this all laid out for us here. This is great because, like we said before, 90% of this is about the nutrition, right, and what you're putting into the body after these workouts. What are Absolutely. you cooking right here? So, look, I want to show, show after a workout, it doesn't have to be fancy, just quick and easy. Okay. We want some lean protein with a good source of carbohydrates, easily digesting carbohydrates. Mm -hmm and vegetables. So that's really what I did here. I just kind of chopped up. I did the chicken, fajitas, some bell peppers. Okay. And then right here, I just did um, basically a little sweet potato, cinnamon, and some very puny and pathetic uh, asparagus. That's <laughs> about 100 grams of asparagus, by the way. Oh, wow. Is this chicken breast right here? Is this, this is chicken okay. breast. Chicken breast. Yep. Okay. And then we let this very cook, Very lean obviously. chicken breast. Love yep. it. Okay. Cook it up with extra virgin coconut oil, grapeseed oil extract. Whatever that you prefer. This is not a hard thing to do. Really, it's not. No, no. There's, there's, there's no reason. That, like I said, especially after workout, we have what's known as the window of opportunity. Okay. So after our workout, we want to make sure we're supplying our body with what it needs the first 30 to 60 minutes after your workout. Mm -hmm. So like I said, we just boom, put it together, and bam, we're done with it. Love it. Love it. So quick and easy. Quick doing. and easy. Exactly. People love that nowadays because they don't have a lot of time to do you know, four hours at the gym, then go cook, and then do all this stuff. This is making it easy for them. Very efficient. Great stuff. Very Great efficient stuff. and okay. effective. Let's move on over here. We're talking about, uh, of course, we've got the fruits over here. That's always important. Yeah, so I just want to show good sources of simple carbs. So okay. one thing I want to point out is the body assimilates simple carbs and sugars much better after a workout. So me personally, like I, I have a crazy sweet tooth. I'll be honest, <laughs> twice a week, I will indulge in a little froyo, a little frozen I yogurt. I see you post on that on, on your Facebook page yep. and say, yeah, it's okay to do that. Absolutely. Okay, good. I mean, you need to follow a nutritional program that is sustainable, that's livable, and, you know, that's something that you can just carry out for a lifestyle. Mm -hmm. So that's what we did here. And, I mean, go-to quick items, Greek yogurt. Like I said, there's an array of fruits. How about chocolate milk? I like the fact that you said go-to quick milk. items because if you don't have time to do something like this, this is something over here. This thing is, you guys turn it on high. Um, if you don't have time it's to do really something like up. this, yeah, this yeah, is quick so and easy. Low-fat chocolate milk okay. is so great because it's good source of protein, mm -hmm. good carbohydrates. It's low-fat, so you're on the go. Grab a low-fat chocolate milk. Okay. And um, it, it'll supply your body with what it needs and recover your muscles. Let's talk about a protein shake, if that's something you want to do as well. You can do that after the workout. Is there anything we want to put into that protein shake, or we just simply want to put protein in? Well, actually, we're going to be covering protein shakes, all the nitty-gritty from top to bottom, okay. next week. Oh, good. In next week's segment. I love that. Um, we fast one thing I do want to point out, though, okay. is there is a difference as far as your post-workout nutrition. If you get done with a cardio workout, Mm -hmm. Now, if your goal is fat loss, 
I would highly suggest just a nice lean protein source. You could do chicken, a nice, nice salad, um, and I would skip out on the carbohydrates. That is advanced. That's ideal if we're really trying to ramp up the fat loss. Okay, okay. And then, like I said, post-workout with the weights, that's more oriented for strength training. If, if we're working out and we're talking about strength training and cardio, is there a mix that we should be doing during the week? Should we do one day of the strength training, the next day is cardio? Should we combine the two? Or There's, just depend honestly, on the person? There, it depends on the person. It's okay. very subjective. There's so many different ways that you could work it in. I would suggest that you're getting in strength training at least two to three days a week. And make sure that you're moving your body almost uh, every day. I, I think the key is to what you just said. Keep your body moving. Moving. Move the body. Yeah. Move more, eat less. And as far as like after a workout, usually it's a one-to-one -one ratio of carbs to protein all the way to three-to-one. So a lot of that is dictated based off of the duration and the intensity of, of your workout. Of the workout, right. So that's the variable. That's the big factor. Okay. It's not like, oh, just eat 40 grams of carbohydrates. You're refueled. You're ready to go for your workout the next day. <laughs> wow. doesn't work that way. It doesn't work that doesn't way It doesn't work all. that way, peeps. Boy, we appreciate this. This is great information. This is fantastic. You've laid it all out for us. We've talked about the workouts. A couple things you can do is you kind of warm, would you say warm down or warm up on the end of a workout? I don't know. <laughs> cool down. Cool down. Thank cool down. you. Cool down. But you're still warming things up when you're moving around. Um, good stuff. You want to get a hold of Ray? All of his information is on our website. Uh, what are you holding right here? This is just an unknown magical jug. This is a lot of what we're going to be talking about next week. Next week, I love this. I'm going to break down the ingredients, the good, the bad, the batter, the good sources of protein that you're going to want to throw in when you make a shake, your greens, your fruits, and you know, creating an unbelievable power smoothie. So much information people need to know about a that lot, protein. A lot. a lot of questions to be answered. Love it. Good stuff. Ray is on our website, fox5sandiego.com. The dude is an inspiration. I'm telling you, just click on the scene. Take your your biceps and just bam right on the Sinon tab. That's tricep, brother. <laughs> oh, did That's I say, oh, yeah, sorry. we need to, we need to work on the anatomy. <laughs> I need to get back we'll, in the gym. We'll, we'll get him. Yeah, yeah. All right, right. We've been talking about that too. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna get that going too, <laughs> guys. Uh, we'll we'll throw it back to you in the studio. Take your <laughs> tricep. 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 Suns out. Guns, Guns out. out. Like that. Just like that. Thank you, guys. I'm glad I have a suit on. <laughs>